August is hot, and so are the savings at Appalachian Wireless, where all smartphones are 50% off. Even the 64, 128, and 256 gig models. Two-year agreement required. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. Elkhorn City held its third night market over the weekend, giving local people the opportunity to spend their money with local people and in turn get that one-of-a-kind item they won't find anywhere else. Officials with the event say it's growing and is able to offer a wider variety of merchandise. That's probably one thing I'm most um, proud of this year is how much we've expanded. We have jewelry, we have clothing, we have pie and candies and we have uh, food right here behind us you probably see the big line um, but literally every we have furniture and woodworking and so much of it is is handmade and locally made so that's one of the most amazing parts not only does the night market give small businesses and artisans the opportunity to network and gain exposure but it's definitely a much needed source of income I am a full-time artist, <laughs> and so uh, events like these are very helpful to me. Um, this fills in um, a lot of income, you know, and um, just tonight I've talked to a couple people who wanted my information for a possible mural in the future. So it was, you know, it, it's not just me selling work, it's making those connections, kind of networking. And so it's really important um, as an artist to do things like this on like multiple levels. I started doing it because um, I had to stay home with my son for, for some medical reasons. And it started out as a hobby more than anything. And I decided why not try to sell it to people. So I started doing that. People were responding well to it. Um, and I kept on doing it because people liked my product. And it definitely helps to, to, to make a few extra bucks here and there. For more information on the Elkhorn City Night Market, simply follow them on Facebook. Reporting from Elkhorn City, I'm Sean Allen for EKB News.